channel alien tech champion if you have not like and subscribe the channel please go and search on youtube or google and you will open this uh, alien tech champion and you will see uh, all those uh, videos interesting video for anything related to the mobile or microsoft into okay so today i am going to talk about how how you can create actually how we can create uh, the custom uh, oma uri right through the policy through the intune csp policy and if you are using autopilot devices you can how you can make a local admin or create a account a local ad account and make admin so that any end users can log in uh, or the support team can log in with the uh, with that account which which would have the admin credentials because if you are using windows autopilot you may need to make admin of one of the account uh, if you are not using hybrid autopilot then you will need a auto um, uh, you need the one user account which has the admin privilege so that you can execute some some of the privilege or the restrictive uh, command on on the machine for troubleshooting or anything so first understand what is o m a u r i right so if you just type on google you will you will get lots of information so if you just uh, if you see here right what, what is actually o m a so o m a is is actually open mobile alliance url is uniform resources okay uri okay so oma is open mobile alliance and uniform resources so we call in the short form we call oma uri so what actually is does so this 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 oma uri right you can target to a csp through intune right which actually it's provide a, a, a very good and easy to convenience uh, to interface to configure this policy you see here if you open that you will see all these custom profiles are actually supporting right so what does this so you can go to the google i am not going through the google otherwise you will so you just uh, i am just uh, o m a u r i right so so which actually provide a con convenient way and easy to use interface to configure this policy however not all settings right these uh, available with this endpoint um, microsoft intune but you can uh, but you can uh, as advancement right it's not unusual right but you can actually deploy this custom oma uri profile that use the csp so csp what is csp it's a windows configuration service provider csp is actually uh, as an interface that is used by the mobile device management provider like intune to read and see set modify and delete configuration settings on on the devices so it is actually um, done through the key value in windows registry normally you have see right csp actually policies have a scope you can define that the scope is of the CSP is most important because it dictates the OMI URL setting that you should use, right? So, OMI URI is a path, right? Where you can it's supported by the CSP. CSP I have already told you what is that, right? The Windows Configuration Service Provider. You can of course you can go and search that. So, uh, how you can do that? how you can create that a custom policy right as i mentioned in the starting of video we are, we are going to show you how you can create a one local account uh, on autopilot machine so where you have to go so you have to go to the devices windows devices this is intune microsoft endpoint manager portal we call a intune portal admin portal and then you have to go to the configurations profile and here you have to create a new profile okay and then windows 10 and later and here where we have to go you have to go to templates right 
and you see here there is many templates there right there are many templates there we need to create the custom profile create the custom profiles because this is csp right so in the custom profile what is that what we have to do here so we have to do you have to give it the name what is the name you can give it as per your any information so i am creating local admin account for auto pilot devices okay okay auto pilot windows devices of course windows not for mobile okay click next and here you see oma uri setting you can click on more information of course it's very easy and you see the same thing here right right so you can give it the name url data type and the value that's it very simple so what you have to do you have to click on add here is actually tricky now you have to give the name so what you want to get is create admin account you can give anything descriptions descriptions would be local admin okay anything you you want to give this this, this is not actually i am not the uh, saying that uh, you can give it the my name you can use any name and then here you have to put the path right so here you have to put in dot device so device vendor right msft i will show you where you will get this information accounts and don't make mistakes otherwise it will fail users and local local user and password okay where you can find this omi uri path so here you see here uh, not here you'll find it if you search on omi uri path into into okay uh, yeah yeah you see here the user scope right so same thing we are putting so i am i'm putting for the device scope because we want to get the so device vendor msft accounts similar like right so configure the policy similar like we are putting so you will get some of some of the end. so this is the path i have given and data type data type should be string and the value you have to put you can put value anything you want to configure admin like admin one two three has whatever you want to like any complex password i'm just giving the information click add it's very simple right now what you have to do another you have to another put another string now this you this account will be created now create on click on new add and then add make admin whatever you are. make admin you need to make admin of these groups it's if you want to configure the descriptions you can put it and then UMI path will be oma path will be i'll give you the name so it's a similar like uh, same which we have given but we'll give the uh okay slash device vendor msft this is the registry path actually account users local user this is case sensitive so make sure you are entering the correct information local user group right local user group right and uh, what is the name and it should be the value type integer and make sure the value is two okay click next so uh, again you you want to uh, edit this make the so what, what is the username you have given so you have given the local user right it's local user so this is your username you want to give admin admin so if you are putting admin here and the password is this one okay 
then here you have to also put the admin instead of local user okay so what do you have to put here admin okay so now you got the idea right and then click on next that's its default you you can assign it and if you want to assign to all devices of course and then apply next you want to assign if the profile is os version or os edition i am selecting windows 10 enterprise only and next it that's it great so now we have now you created this how you can make a local admin account for autopilot devices thank you hope you have learned how you can create and as soon as you uh, sign in in, into the autopilot windows devices you'll get this local account and it will become admin and you you can do any any troubleshooting for any purpose thank you have a good day bye bye take care